All right, I wanted to answer a question uh, that I get asked every now and then, and that is how in a SharePoint list in Power Automate, how do I retrieve the items from that list based on the value in a yes, no column? So a lot of times people add these columns, some call them checkbox columns. They're technically called a yes, no column in SharePoint. Uh, and the, the fact is that they store a Boolean value. So it's not a text yes and a text no, but it's a it's a logical value. So filtering it is a little bit tricky uh, until you know the secret. And that's what I'm going to show you here. So I have a column or a list here of presidents of the U.S. from 1789 to 1901. I'm going to add a column <clears throat> and I'm going to use that yes, no column type. And I'm going to call it has facial hair because some of them did, some of them don't. I honestly don't know all of them that did, so I'm going to be guessing at a few, but uh, we'll, 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 it'll give us some data to look at. So I'm going to set the default value to no. Now, one thing to know about this is when you are adding a column to a list that already has data, the especially in the case of this, this yes, no column, and you set the default value, the default value only comes into play when an item is created in that list. So it's not going, so setting this default no is not going to force a no into all of the items in the list. In fact, they're going to be undefined or blank until you specifically say, until you set it to yes or no, so checked or not checked. Uh, and there's a difference between no and not checked, or I should say empty and not checked. So we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. But I'm going to set the default to no and hit save. Now, ideally, if you don't have a lot of things, what I find works best is to just, if there aren't a lot of entries in this list, you can just kind of go in and manually set them all to no just to clear your clear the air. But we're going to assume that you've got more items in your list than, than are practical to do that with. So I'm just going to go into grid view here. And I know that a few of these have. I know Jackson did. I know Van Buren did. Uh, I know that Lincoln and Grant both did. I honestly don't know about the rest, so I'm going to leave the rest blank. Um, actually, just, just for the sake of argument, I'll, I'll check Washington and then I'll uncheck, just so I can kind of show you what I mean by, by the difference between not setting a value and having it set to no. So we'll exit the grid view. Now I'm going to jump over to Power Automate. We're going to build a quick and easy flow just to get those items and give us a count of how many uh, have facial hair or don't. So I'm going to go over to Manage Flows, click Create, and we're going to create an instant flow. Call this Test. Uh, Filter SP yes no column and make this a manually triggered flow. Click create. Uh, so however you're triggering flow, it doesn't matter. But the important thing is we have a get items action in here, and it's important to note that it is items plural. And I'm going to get my, from my SharePoint Basics site. There's the list name with CSV at the end. And I need to show the advanced options in this filter query. Uh, this is where we need to define what filter we want to apply. Now, when I created that column called uh, has facial hair, uh, when you use the add column button here and you just use spaces, SharePoint helpfully takes those out. So your internal column name will be clean, have no spaces, no weird characters. It'll just be whatever text you entered with the spaces removed. So if I want to see what that mean by that, I'm going to just going to go to filter no to yes. And then if I look in my URL up here, we'll see sort field has facial hair. So oh, there, sorry, that is the internal name of that column. So that's what we want to use. I'm just going to copy that, go over to my flow, paste that in. You don't have to paste it. You can type it in, but pasting it's just easy if you filter and, or sort and then get that. Uh, and then I'm going to say EQ equals now, again, because it it's called yes and no, but it's storing true or false. 
Um, it's also storing a true, a logical true can also be called one, the number one, and a logical false can be called the number zero. So I'm going to say facial hair equals one. And when you're using a number here, if you're using a string, it needs to be in single quotes. If you're using a number, it does not, or it should not, it cannot be. Uh, so I'm going to hit save. Now what I want to do is check how many items I'm returning. And the way I do that is I just add a compose action here. <clears throat> and in the compose action, I'm going to use the length expression, which is just going to give us a count of the number of items returned. But I need to, for the length expression, inside those parentheses, go to dynamic content, and under get items, select value. It's very important, you, even though these both say list of items, you want the one that says value list of items. Select that, click OK, hit save, and let's run a quick test here so manually run this flow run it done and there we've got four and if we go back to our list I'm actually going to group by this column just so we can see the numbers so group by has facial hair uh, we we'll say yes is four now Again, there's this unassigned, meaning these that field in 20 of these items has not been initialized, meaning it's not true, it's not false, it's not yes, it's not no, it's blank, it's empty. So if I want to get the opposite, if I want to get those who do not have facial hair, um, you logically you might think, well, I'll search for, I'll just change this from... Uh, change that filter from zero to or from one to zero because if if one gives me all the trues or yeses then zero should give me all the falses but if I do that hit save and we test that out it'll run but what it's going to return is one because there's only one entry where I specifically checked it and then unchecked it. So basically I made it true or yes or one and then I made it false or zero or no. So if we want to get those where it is not equal to one that that's going to give us the actual the true count. Um, actually let me just go back and show you what I mean by that just to, to not to belabor the point but I do want to just show you so when we look at this flow run, and we go into get items, and we look at the output, uh, we'll see there that is has facial hair is false. Now if we remove that filter entirely, so let's just edit this. And get rid of that. Now flow is going to yell at me and tell me that it's that I should have a filter in there and that's fine. So the flow checker will have a red dot that that's okay. It's just for efficiency you should use should always use some kind of a filter in that filter query just so that you aren't returning. It's better to bring back just the data you need than all of the data. Uh, but if I look at the output of that get items now so this is just giving me all of them but there's George Washington has facial hair false but I'm gonna go down to John Adams so and, and has facial hair is after field underscore three so there's John Adams field underscore three you'll note that that has facial hair column isn't even reported so if it doesn't have a value it doesn't come back it's not in other words it can't tell me that that that's no or that's empty because it isn't there at all. So if I really and truly want to get those where they it basically where facial hair is not equal to yes then I really just need to add that filter query back in but so of saying EQ1 say NE1 so not equal to 1 and if I do that hit save test it, manually run that, 
run it. Done. Ran successfully. And if I look at our compose, it gives me 21. And looking here, I have 20 unassigned, one that's no. So, hallelujah, we've got the right number. Um, that is what we want to talk about. So hopefully this is helpful if you're if you do you know I know people love those yes no columns because they just love check boxes, uh, but from a logic standpoint they do present some issues. Hopefully this helped you see the way around filtering on those columns, um, and that'll help you through whatever jam you're in. So thanks for watching and have a great day.